getting all bendy. Fancy that no one was bringing it up. <laughs> I figured that if I showed a little growth, it might help me get a better handle on what makes people tick. So here I am, new and improved. I should mention that he's had this form since he created us two years ago. I never got to know the child version of Xiao. Hmm, Xiao is a child, huh? I'll bet he was super sassy and snotty. If I ever came across as sassy, then you must have mistaken one of my relatives for me. Really? What do you think? Shell's relative would be... Sarah, right? Well, um... But, hey! You could stand to be a little more tactful. My mind was constructed based on Sarah, so her personality has rubbed off on me considerably. When I come off as sassy or super laid back, that's all Sarah. But the fact that you admit to her influence means you like her, don't you? No comment. You can draw your own conclusions. Well, I guess the best thing about growing up is that now I get to pat Sarah's head. Sarah hates it, so naturally, I eat it up. of Omega is what the Akashic Records dream of. It's a jumbled up mishmash of all the records in the universe. The civilization and culture of Omega comes from random planets and eras logged in the Akashic Records. It's a waking dream spawned from the collective memories of an entire universe, so you're bound to run into all sorts of crazy stuff. I know I'm the one who asked you to go, but stay on your toes, okay? And take care of things. Surprise! 
surprised? I was surprised myself. I was speechless. At least I can always stay close to you in this form. Okay, I, Sierra, will be your humble navigator. Let's start by finding a place with lots of life sign readings. This is a pretty imposing place. What do they do here? You there! What are you doing? You don't look familiar. Are you one of the king's minions? Your strange garb is unquestionably suspicious. Identify yourselves! Um, or, or we come in peace? The little one speaks. What is this creature? What? I figured I'd look right at home like this. Oh, jeez. What do we do now? What's all the commotion? Ah, uh, Lady Harriet. My apologies for causing a stir. We found some suspicious figures skulking around. We were just about to apprehend them. Suspicious figures? It's you! Lady Harriet, no. Stay back. They're dangerous. How are they dangerous? They are my guests. Your guests? Even if that were true, this is hardly the time. Faruna, I am most grateful for your consideration as my adjutant. However, I will be fine. Please allow me to handle this. Yes, ma'am. Just call if you're in any trouble at all. I'll be right there. Thank you, Faruna. Come, this way. This is my personal tent. No one will disturb us here. Do you remember me? You saved my life not long ago. Allow me to introduce myself once more. I am Harriet. I would ask you what... A somewhat impertinent question. Do you know of me? Of this land? In fact, do you know of this world at all? Yes, I thought as much. You wear foreign garb, you know nothing of us, and you wield overwhelming might. Truly, it is just as legend foretold. How long we have awaited you! What legend is this now? Well... Hey, um... That rumbling and stuff outside can't be anything good, can it? Lady Harriet! You may enter. Sorcerers have arrived at the Royal Army Camp. They appear to be preparing for a summoning. Going to summon a castrum demonica here, aren't they? Strike the enemy camp before the ritual is complete! Faruna, muster all troops! Lady Harriet, that would be dangerous. I think we should retreat. If we keep retreating, they'll corner us at a stronghold sooner or later. We would be finished. And I can hardly flee alone while everyone else is fighting. Lady Harriet. We'll launch a pinpoint blitz. Faruna, notify the troops immediately. My apologies. I must take the field. I will give you a full overview later, should I return alive. What's the plan? I sure do. Say no more. Let's go join Harriet. Summoners! Prepare for Castrum Demonica summons! Crush the rebels who wreak havoc in our land! Stop the Castrum Demonica summons! Charge! But we're this close! All men! Keep pushing! We're through! This is it! What? Uh, Orcs. Demonica.
You were one step too late! Come forth, Castrum Demonica! Castrum Demonica has been sighted. Monsters are swarming the area. Uh, a Castrum Demonica? There's no breaching, it's Arx Demonica! All forces, retreat! I will take command! All forces have retreated. Lady Harriet, you should do the same. No! I yet have a role to play! Lady Harriet, you wouldn't. Let the secrets of the Buster be made manifest! Lady Harriet, no! You can't. You know that no one has ever been able to control the Buster Tower before. Yet control it I must! It is the only way to destroy the Castrum Demonica's Arx Demonica! Please, heed my call. Banish the encroaching darkness! <sighs> Am I not good enough? Is my soul not? Someone. A guardian? <laughs> Thank you! Well, uh, maybe don't thank us just yet. Not even a guardian can go non stop against an endless stream of enemies. The enemy forces seem to be driving Harriet's troops back. We have to breach that barrier and do something about that kooky castle. But that barrier is airtight. Breaking through is gonna be hard. Can we hold out long enough? Buster Tower just stabilized. What is it, Harriet? There may be a way for us to break through the barrier after all. Allow me to place my faith in your might. The might of the Guardian. A grotesque castle suddenly appears, bearing down on the battlefield. And with it, the entire battle changes for the worse. The Arx Demonica was birthed by the abominable fortress known as the Castrum Demonica. Said fortress is said to possess an impenetrable defense. It cannot be escaped from or assaulted. Those who try are crushed. 
More horrible than the castrum itself are the monstrosities that issue from its maw, mercilessly pillaging and murdering. Clearly, there remains no choice but to flee. At least, that was how it should have been. Just then, a visitor appears from another world. The arrival of a savior bearing the light of hope, who cuts through the wicked foes, assailing the princess. And the savior's strength will be etched into the annals of history forevermore. Our aim is to halt the enemy invasion as we destroy the opposing Arx Demonica and Castrum Demonica. Over there is the enemy encampment. Deep within stands the enormous Castrum Demonica. My soldiers have their hands full fighting off the monsters in the vicinity of the fortress. Eventually, try as they might, they will be overrun. The Castrum Demonica is the source of our foes. Should it remain standing, victory is unthinkable. So we need to take down the Castrum Demonica in the middle of the enemy encampment? But what do we do about the Arx Demonica thing that's protecting it? And that'll take some time to destroy. We have a weapon for that purpose. I present to you, the Buster Tower. The might of the Buster Tower can easily break through the defenses of the Arx Demonica. But my power is insufficient. I am incapable of managing such a weapon. However, earlier it reacted to you. It should now be possible to unleash its full potential. The Buster Tower is now capable of launching a Buster Ram, the only thing that can destroy the Arx Demonica. The enemy is on the move! I don't think we have time to talk anymore! In summary, we use the Buster Tower to break the barrier, then we smash the Castrum Demonica! Yes, precisely as you say. A word of warning. If the Buster Tower is destroyed, it will mean defeat. Okay, we're going into this blind, but let's give it a shot! I'll do my best to direct you! Good luck! of my people. Thank you for your gracious assistance. That 
That's what I've been wondering. And what's up with the Buster Tower? Let's start with the cast from Demonica that kept popping out enemies. Was it a bunch of rocks? Or was it actually alive? It is a castle and a living thing, both. They are living fortresses that call forth endless waves of monsters. Thus, Castrum Demonica. They are foul wedges, driven into the world by way of large-scale conjurations. Conjure... what now? A type of magic that summons enslaved creatures from other realms. This may all be new to you, since you're both from another world. In this world, we have something called sorcery. It is a means by which one draws upon mana in the atmosphere to trigger supernatural phenomena. Hmm... It sounds comparable to what we know as photons and techniques. Maybe the reason it was so easy for me to analyze the Castrum Demonica and the Buster Tower was because they share similar roots. Individuals can only harness so much mana alone. A person's sorcery prowess was generally limited to a fairly ordinary degree. That is, until these ephemera came along. Suddenly, seedlessly, ephemera, just the blossoms, began blooming all over the world decades prior. It came to light that the ephemera made extremely efficient catalysts for sorcery. One land mastered bodily enhancement, a second used them as regents for mind control potions, another solved the riddle of replication. And in my land, they discovered the art of conjuration. The Castrum Demonica is the apex of conjuration sorcery. Once its ephemera-consuming summon is complete, it wedges itself into the ground. It deploys a highly durable Arx Demonica barrier, and summons endless monsters to intercept its foes. Even the Castrum itself is quite deadly. It has been said to be impossible for someone on a human level to breach and conquer these fortresses, no matter what sorcery they avail. Furthermore, the act of summoning one consumes all mana and ephemera in the area, leaving no way to counter-summon another Castrum Demonica to fight the first. So basically, the first side to summon a Castrum Demonica always wins? Just so. The face of war in this world has greatly changed since the advent of the Castrum Demonica. The Buster Tower Conjuration is what was invented to counter it. Ah! The thing you were using in the fight just now, right? It is a siege weapon designed to breach the Arx Demonica generated by the Castrum Demonica, drawing upon the mana in the atmosphere. However, it requires an enormous amount of mana to control. Without Ephemera, it was beyond our ability to harness. But our friend here could do it! And we were able to destroy the Castrum Demonica! Power always comes at a price. Sorcery requires mana. Technology requires hard work. Wielding such inordinate power at no cost is by no means a good thing. All this unrest, the tension between the nations of our world, the coup in my kingdom, Ephemera is the catalyst for it all. It's a fiendish flower whose nectar drives the world mad. Our aim is to eliminate it and restore peace to the land. No, the world. World peace? Well, nobody could say you aren't aiming high. Not that I blame you. Harriet, would you be willing to let us have that flower? Channel your power into it. Channel photons, like you're holding a weapon. I knew what? it! Wait! You knew what, Harriet? It is the legend I mentioned previously. A fairy tale widely known in our world since ancient times. It goes like this. When the realm is enshrouded in darkness, lament not, 
For a hero shall spring forth from otherworldly luminance, spirit guide in tow. The hero shall serve as a beacon and cross the path of light. They shall tread the path of the brave, shepherding all those who follow. In turn, those who take up arms shall guide wayward souls lost to darkness. Perilous is the path they tread, yet righteousness will prevail. Fear not our Savior, for by their hand shall light shine on blackest night, banishing the darkness forevermore. Visitor from another land, spoken of in legend. Or should I say, guardian? Please, will you lend us your aid? Gosh, the scope of all this just grew exponentially. In fact, are you sure you're okay with all this, Harriet? I get that there's a legend, but we're clearly not from this world. Do you really want to trust random strangers with something so... important? The legend alone, I would have taken with a grain of salt. But you have aided me in my time of need. And twice now, you've come to my rescue. That is enough for me to trust you. More than enough. To fly to someone's aid, Without hesitation in a realm where you tread blindly, it's no small feat. I would trust you, <laughs> with or without the legend. That ephemera flower just now, it disintegrated in reaction to photons. That's an F-factor mass. As members of ARCs, we consider those a problem. Besides, how can we say no when you're asking so nicely? Thank you so much! Well, we've gathered plenty of intel. How about we pop back to the Ark ship to deliver a report real quick?